Here's an original idea. Just come walking out of the storage room all casually and find you on camera right there. What's the project? The mid-century slat wall. I love the look. I've always wanted one and finally I'm gonna do it. So we're here in my basement. We're gonna make that door kind of a hidden door, flush mount. I got some groovy little hinges on Amazon that I'll show you. And then we're gonna paint this wall black and put slats on it and I'm gonna show you exactly how we do it. Station wagon strikes again. Eight footers all day long. Now Joey's going to get the final ingredient. This 42 year old mom just got ID'd. Come on. It's just plywood, two by four, kind of some scrap stuff. So it's starting to get heavy. I don't know if those little Amazon uh, hinges are gonna hold it because it's super long. It should probably have three, but C'est la vie. I think once we get it painted black and we put some, get the timber on there, it should be looking good. The biggest hurdle is finding the actual material to put on the wall, right? There's not a lot of places you can get it. There's not a lot of places that do it. And the DIY stuff, you know, most of it is cutting plywood, right? Cutting strips of plywood. So I found this local place called Two Birds Furniture. And what they do is they reclaim old barn wood. So they actually go out, they rip barns down and then reclaim the wood. And they take it all back to their shop. They mill it, they denail it, they do all that stuff. So I had Robin down here. She came and measured out the wall, everything else. She's like, no problem. I know just the material we have at the shop for that. So we will uh, get in the material from them tomorrow which is why I am painting this wall right this minute. So people reach out to, have, to us that have old barns, buildings, bridges that have passed their, well, they've either lost their use or they're no longer a function on the family farm. So they call us and we dismantle it piece by piece and we reuse all those pieces that we salvage. The product that we brought is an inch and three eighths wide. So what Joe will be doing on a wall like this is he'll get the edge pieces up and then it's just a matter of measuring and then just some simple division for what that spacing should be. Okay, people, let's cut to the chase and get to exactly why you're watching this video. And that's probably because you wanna know exactly how we put those slats on the walls. So here is exactly how we did it. The first step is to square off the ends of each slat to make sure that it fits properly on the wall. Then they applied a very thin layer of adhesive to the back of each slat. What kind of adhesive? They just used regular old subfloor and construction glue. Once the glue is on the slats, they're fastening the slats to the wall using a 23 gauge pin nailer or a micro pinner, some people call it. And we're using inch and three eighths headless micro pins. When Joe calculated the spacing, he just cut a tiny little block of wood that was the right width to go in between the boards. And then he just works his way from the top to the bottom using that spacer and then just drives one of those headless pins in every you know two feet or so. And as far as the secret door goes, guys, I'm not gonna get into it too much. It's kind of cool, but really I think I ordered the wrong hinges because the slats actually rub into each other when I open the door. So I had to put a stop on the top of it here. I just did that temporarily from now, put that stop up there to stop it from crumpling together. But like I say, I think I got the wrong hinges, so I'm not gonna waste your time with that showing you which hinges I got. I hope you enjoyed this video. I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching.